and welcome to this week's State House Update. I'm PJ Randhawa. At the State House this week, the backlash against the Affordable Care Act finally made it to the Senate floor, while some lawmakers considered legalizing a controversial medicine. First up, a debate on a bill to impede elements of the Affordable Care Act started and is expected to continue for the next several weeks. The latest version of the bill backs away from complete nullification and simply states South Carolina will not spend money or use resources to enact the health care law. It also puts more regulations on federally appointed navigators who say they wonder why the law of the land is still being fought at all. The people in this chamber, they all have government health insurance that we pay for. They turn down insurance that all of us collectively have put money into the federal you know, treasury. The president of the state's only historically black public university stood before Governor Nikki Haley to ask the state for nearly $14 million to pay its debts this week. No decision was made, but the state has to act before April or the school's accreditation could be on the line. And this session has been dominated by bills and debates to increase gun rights. But now Democrats in the House and Senate are banding together to repeal South Carolina's Stand Your Ground law. Representative Harold Mitchell says the law has too often been used as a license to kill. With the atmosphere that we've created with gun legislation allowing people to go into bars and restaurants with coupling the fact that they can be confronted by somebody and just meet force with force is wrong. Now a bill to legalize cannabis oil for medicinal purposes won the hearts and minds of representatives in committee this week with no open opposition. On our radar for next week, another bill that calls for the state to allow clinical trials to study the medicinal uses of marijuana. That's all for this week's State House Update. I'm PJ Randhawa.